Hello everyone. Welcome to my presentation. I am dealing with the subject power plant engineering. In that topic is types of dam, comma spillways. The outline of my presentation is powerhouse equipment, types of dams, spillways. Powerhouse equipment. Some more components are required for the proper user friendly and smoothly functioning of the power plant. These components are valves, pumps, spillways and splutch tanks. In that first one is the valve. This is the instrument which is used to control the pressure of flow of water. There are different types of valves like U valve, V valve, butterfly, butterfly valve, etc. Next, pumps. These are the devices used to send the water or any fluid from lower potential level to the higher potential level. Next, spillways. Spillways is a kind of the canal provides besides the dams. Spillways is used to arrange the excess of accumulation of the water on the dams because excess accumulation of the water may damage the dam structure. Sludge tank. Before sludge tank, to avoid the stamp, when there is a sudden close or decrease in the pressure due to the control valve, when there is a black bad flow of water, this creates a high pressure zone in the pen stop. Due to this, it may burst. This effect is called as hammering. So, when in the turbines, when a large amount of the water gets, in the pen stop, when a large amount of the water gets backwards, this may burst the pen stroke. So, this effect is called as hammering. To avoid this tank, it, to avoid the hammering tank, a tank is attached to the pen stroke, which is used to store the water. This is known as a surge tank. And advantages of hydel power plant. The major factor which goes in favor of hydroelectric power plant are as follows. Water is the cheapest and reliable source of generation of electric power because it exists as a free gift of the nature. There are no ash disposal problems as the atmosphere is not polluted because no smoke is produced in the plant. No fuel transportation in the problem. Less supervising staff is required. Maintenance and operation charges are very low. It, is, it can take up the loads quickly and it is capable of meeting the variable loads without an, any loss in the efficiency. Its maintenance cost is very low. It requires less supervising staff and other members. Running cost of the plant is very low. In addition to the power generation, sun plants are used in irrigation and floods control purpose. Hydroelectric power plants have become more economical competitors with the steam power plant and will acquire more economic advantage with the raise in the price of coal and oil. The life of the plant is more and it affects the age of comparatively small as on the overall efficiency of the plant. These can be started and stopped very quickly. Unfrozen season outage are very frequent. Plant has no withstand losses. As there is no fuel required, no expenditure of the material, material handling, storage and disposal of the waste. And disadvantages are the initial cost of the plant is very high, takes long time for the construction of the dam. Generally such plants are located in the hilly areas far away from the 
load centers and thus require long transmission lines and losses in them will be very more. For the generation of powers in the hydroelectric power plant is only dependent on natural phenomena of the rain. Therefore, at the time of the drought or summer session, the hydro power plant will not work. It is fairly long time for the erection of the such plants. The plant produce it depends upon the quantity of the water which in turn depends upon the rainy day. So it is a major disadvantage of the hydroelectric power plant. Classifications of hydroelectric power plants. Hydroelectric power plants are broadly classified into three types based on the heads. High, high head power plant, low head power plant and medium head power plant. High head power plant, head of the water is more than 500 meters then the turbine is used is Pelton turbine. In medium head power plant, head of the water ranges from 80 to 500 meters. This turbine is called as, is used such in turbines as Francis turbine. And in low head, low head power plants consist of dams across the water. The head of the water ranges from 1.5 to 80 meters. This turbine used in such plants is the Kaplan turbine and Francis turbine. Vertical shaft are the examples for the low head power plants. A sideway steam diverges from the river at the dam. Power house is constructed over the steam which further joins the river. And according to the nature, there are two types, base load plants and peak load plants. Base load plants, they cater to the base load of the system. They need to supply constant power when connected to the grid. In peak load plants, some of the plants supply average load but also some peak load. Other peak load plants are required to work only during the peak load hours. According to the quantity of the water, there are three types, running of river plants without pondage, running of plants with pondage and storage plants. In storage type plant, the storage is large, used as base load and peak load plants. And in that, dams are used. What is meant by a dam? And classifications of the dams are discussed here. A dam is a a dam is used for is used as a barrier to the raised water for storage or diversion to create a hydraulic head. Types of dams. Dams are of three types: hydraulic dams, monsoonary dams, monsoonary dams, and timber dams. Based on the selection of types of dams or of two types, nature of foundation and nature of the valley. Based on the nature of the foundation, it is sound rocky formation in foundation and any type of the dam, poor rock and earth foundation, earth dams are used. Nature of the valley. For the narrow valley, arch dam is used. For rocky bed, solid gravity dams is used. For wide valley, deep foundation. Widdance dams are used. Any wide width of the valley with good foundation, steel dams are used. In that first one is fill dam. Fill dams are broadly classified into different classifications. In that first one is earth fill dam. This is the example for the this is the block diagram for the earth fill dam. Earth fill dams are also called as earth dam or embankment dams. Dam builds up by Compacting successive layers of the earth using the most impressive materials to form the core and placing more permissible substances on the upstream and downstream side. A facing of the crusher stone prevents the erosion by wind or rain and examples are spillways used by the concrete. 
and second type of dance is rock field dance in rock field dance dams are completely filled by the rock this is the trip trap and this is the working area a rock field type is a type of embankment dams which comprise primarily compacted rock material used in mountain location where rocks are available mercenary dams in solid gravity dams masses of and bulk depends upon the weight on the stability it requires strong rock foundation bakra dam is the highest concrete gravity dam in the asia and the second highest in the world bakra dam is across the river satluj in himachal pradesh it is at a height of 740 feet high above and the deepest foundation as straight concrete dam being more than the three times of the dam of qutub minar length at the top is 518.16 meters that is 1700 feet width of the base is 190.5 meters that is 625 feet and at the top is 9.14 meters Next type of dam is butenus dam. It is a type of dam enforced by the structural support. A butenus dam or a hollow dam is a dam with a solid water type upstream that is supported at intervals on the downstream side by a series of supports. The dam wall must be a straight or a curved. So this must this is not a straight This is the curved surface. Most buttress dams are made of reinforced concrete and are heavily pushing the dam into the ground. Water pushes dam against the dam, but the buttresses are flexible and prevent the dam from falling. Buttress supports a that transmits the force from the top of the roof or a wall to another supporting structure. it has a relative thin structure because of this thin planks the dams are used for half as concrete as gravity dams can be used for the weaker foundation next type of dam is arch dam arch dam is a solid dam made of a concrete that is curved upstream in the plain the arch dam is designed so that the force of the water against it is known as hydrostatic pressure against the arch compressing and strengthening the structure as it pushes into the foundation or abutment an arch dam is most suitable for narrows or canrows with a steep wall of stable rock to support the structure and stresses since they are thinner than the other type of the dam they are used to require much less construction material and make them more economical and practice in remote areas a next classification is timber dam timber dams are the dam when the wood is plentiful and more durable material and the timber dams are not accessory timber and it is used for the low dams at the depth of 12 meters only so these are the different classifications of the dams in our next session we will discuss about the types of the spillways spillways and other part, other elements of the plants that is primary movers classification of primary movers draft tubes and types of power plants so this is the arch dam in the arch dam this is the if we consider this is a plain and this is the radius inside the arch and capital r is the radius of the outside of the arch and this the angle is theta by 2 and the angle here is the theta and the length of the plain is considered as the